Unit 4, Lesson 10. He studies in Queen's University. Reconocerán el cambio en la terminación de los verbos para hablar de la tercera persona del singular. Hola amigos, en la lección anterior aprendimos a identificar que el presente simple tiene una forma irregular para la tercera persona del singular. ¿Lo recuerdan? Well, my mother's name is Ophelia. She lives in London and she's a librarian. She walks to the bus station early in the morning and takes the bus to the library. She's very happy working there because she loves reading and being quiet. She's neat and clean. Mm. Just imagine, she cleans her house twice mm. a day. Mm. Mm. She's also mm. very strict and responsible. Mm. In fact, she does exercise daily. She definitely hates TV. She thinks it's a waste of time. Mm. But she enjoys playing cards with her friends now and then. Mm. Oh, mm. gosh. So far, mm. how did you like Simol? <laughs> Well, I met this charming man. What's his name? Dismay? No. Tamal? No. <laughs> Yixmal? <laughs> it was amazing. He likes <laughs> silence and he reads a lot. He's a very <laughs> clean person. I'm sure he hates TV because he doesn't have a TV. <laughs> He's such an interesting young man. <laughs> <laughs> Your turn, <laughs> darling. Oh, yes. <laughs> ¡Disfruten del programa! Hello, my name is Richard Donaldson. Stay with me because today I'll be documenting the written activities of a young man in a little town called Tzimol in Chiapas, Mexico. This is the Tzimol Chronicle. This is Angel. He's 15 years old. He lives in Simol, a little town in the south of Chiapas, Mexico. Every day he wakes up at 5 o'clock in the morning to get ready for school. He takes a shower. Angel has breakfast at 5.35 in the morning. He brushes his teeth. Then he grabs his backpack and gets ready for school. Ahí vamos a la escuela. Every day, he walks 10 kilometers to get to his school. It takes him about an hour. Angel studies at the secondary school. But this is no ordinary school. He goes to a telesecundaria, where students learn by watching TV. Huh. These are Angel's friends, Mariana, Gabriela, and Diego. At 11.30 every day, they get together during recess. Mariana eats an apple, and Gabriela has some orange juice. Diego shares his torta with Angel. After lunch, the friends play soccer, a game where they pass a ball by kicking it. When the bell sounds, 
They go back inside for two more hours. <laughs> After school, Angel and his friends go to the Simol Community Center, where they show the tourists the sights of Simol. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot to do mm -hmm. in Simo. Mm -hmm. One of the principal activities in the area <laughs> is ecotourism. Mm -hmm. Right now, the boys are taking a group on a jungle mm -hmm. tour. Mm -hmm. Tourists love sightseeing. Mm -hmm. Doroteo leads mm -hmm. the group. Mm -hmm. He works in the center mm -hmm. as a guide. Mm -hmm. He knows the area very well. Mm -hmm. And he mm -hmm. is in charge of the center's mm -hmm. activities. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, Mariana mm -hmm. helps mm -hmm. Doroteo on these trips. Mm -hmm. She enjoys spending time mm -hmm. in the open air mm -hmm. and takes her responsibility mm -hmm. seriously. Mm -hmm. Angel isn't so serious. He enjoys playing pranks on Gabriela. It seems that Angel has upset Gabriela. Oh no, not again. Incidents like this occur on a regular basis. Angel upsets Gabriela. She cries. He tries to comfort her. She hits him. He runs. She chases him. After a long day in the forest, Angel is ready to go back home and do his chores. He walks for another hour before he reaches his house. When Angel gets home, he has dinner. He brushes his teeth and then he does his homework. Huh. After doing his homework, he plays on his computer where he secretly writes uh. stories. Uh. He dreams of being a filmmaker someday. Hmm. Then, at 11 o'clock, Angel gets ready to go to bed. He closes his eyes and... Oiga, ¿quién es usted? Huh? ¿Es eso oh. una cámara? He looks angry. Mm. <sighs> Vamos, fuera de aquí. Váyase. <sighs> and so, we say goodbye to Angel and his friends. We hope to see you soon in another episode of The, the Simón Chronicles. Chronicles. ¿Eh? Ahí está. Ese es el sujeto raro que me siguió todo el día. Oh, 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 oh. Hola amigos, ¿les gustó el programa? En esta lección vimos los cambios que hay en los verbos cuando los usamos en tercera persona del singular. Aquí hay unos ejemplos. Fíjense bien. He lives in Simol, a little town in the south of Chiapas, Mexico. Every day he wakes up at 5 o'clock in the morning to get ready for school. He takes a shower. Angel has breakfast at 5.35 in the morning. He brushes his teeth then he grabs his backpack and gets ready for school. Angel studies at the secondary school. ¿Se fijaron? Cuando hablamos en tercera persona del singular forma afirmativa, modificamos la terminación de los verbos en tres formas. 
puede hacerse agregando una S en casi todos los verbos. Pero si los verbos terminan con una Y precedidos por una consonante, reemplazamos la Y por IES. Por ejemplo, el verbo cry. Antes de la Y está la consonante R. En tercera persona singular, se cambia la Y por IES. I cry. She cries. ¿Mm? Otro ejemplo. El verbo study. La consonante D precede a la Y final. En tercera persona singular, se cambia la Y por IES. I study. Ángel studies. Mm. Y un ejemplo más. El verbo hurry, que quiere decir apresurar. Antes de la Y final está la consonante R. En tercera persona singular se cambia la Y por IES. I hurry. Gabriela hurries to school. Uh -huh. De igual manera, le agregamos ES para tercera persona. Si el verbo termina en CH como to catch, cambia de I catch a he catches. O si termina en S como to kiss, I kiss, she kisses. O termina en SH como to crash, I crash, it crashes. O termina en Z como to bus, I bus, it buses. O termina en X como el verbo to box. I box, he boxes. A todos les agregamos ES cuando se deban usar con terceras personas del singular. He, she, it en forma afirmativa. Ahora vean estos otros ejemplos de la vida de Ángel. Ángel is in so serious. He enjoys playing pranks on Gabriela. It seems that Ángel... Has upset Gabriela. Oh, no. Not again. Incidents like this occur on a regular basis. Angel upsets Gabriela. She cries. He tries to comfort her. She hits him. He runs. She chases him. ¿Vieron? Eso fue todo por esta lección, amigos. Nos vemos en la siguiente. Y no olviden practicar la conjugación de un verbo en tercera persona. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh.